What is up, everybody? Alex from WMD here, back at you again, and this time we're going to be talking about another brand new module, and this one is called Javelin. So Javelin is a 6 HP envelope. It's an ADSR style envelope with an integrated VCA, but it's got lots of really cool features that make it stand out from the rest of the crowd. So what are these things? Things like exponential versus linear shapes. So you can do linear and then two different exponential shapes. It has looping, so you can loop the envelope and use it as a standalone modulation source. It also has different ranges for both level and time. So with a switch of a button, you can have a larger amplitude of envelope as well as a longer envelope. Um, those are controlled individually. Next, it has an accent input. It has a unique way of accenting where if you hit that accent multiple times in a row uh, with consecutive gates, it actually is going to climb up to a higher level. This gives it a really expressive and kind of breathing sound. You can also disable that if you prefer a static um, accent. We've got CV over attack and release with the option to be able to control decay with the CV um, for the release input as well. So just tons and tons of cool ways to use this thing. So I'm just going to dive in. We're going to make a sequence and just see how this thing sounds. All right. So what I've got going on here is I have a saw wave coming out of the PDO running into my carbon filter. I've got the low pass out running through the VCA of the Javelin. The envelope for the Javelin is running into the FM input on carbon, as well as it is normaled to the VCA CV here. So if you want to use that CV separately, you can just plug into this CV input. But if you want it to be integrated with the envelope, you just leave it alone, and that's how it goes. All right, so now I have a gate output from Metron running into the gate input on Javelin. If we just bring up our fader on our mixer, we'll hear the sound. So right now, just to make things simple, I'm going to take out the accent input. We're just going to listen to the gate going into the envelope. And right now we've got the range on long, so I'm just going to hit the range button and go to short. So now we can hear the different uh, shapes here. So to change the shapes, you just hold this button here. If that LED is off, we're on linear. So this is the linear shape. And then pressing the level button will increase the actual amplitude of the envelope signal we're creating. So right now we're on the lowest. If I hit this button once, we're in the middle. And if I hit it again, we're on the top. So that's the maximum amplitude that this envelope can create. So this is really nice so you can kind of set the FM level on your filter and then use the level to control how much you're going to open it. That way you don't have to worry about getting back to that knob position if you're moving it like this, right? You can just do it with this button. So same goes for range. We can actually use this range button to completely change the way this envelope is sounding and make a longer envelope. So right now we're on the uh, shortest setting. This is the medium setting, and this is the long setting. Rump up the level. And you can hit these both at the same time to change it back, so that's really cool. You don't have to hit them both at the same time uh, to make them go back, but you can, which is a nice feature, so you can actually do two things at once. All right, so now I'm just gonna change up my gate pattern and put in a nice long gate so we can have a sustained stage and a decay stage here. We're gonna bring up the range. Go to the longest one. Now I'm just gonna bring up a nice long envelope here and we will change the attack. So with no CV plugged into the attack or release, you can have a real fast snappy envelope and then on the short side and then on the longest side, you can have up to, I think it's like 23 seconds per stage. So a nice real long envelope. And then if you add CV to those, you can actually get up to 88 minutes per stage. 
So you can create a very long envelope just by running an offset into either the attack or release CV inputs. So very versatile on that side of things. So let's bring up our sequence here again. Let's just make up some different gates here. We'll go to the short range here. And let's just clear this out and make nice 16th notes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show off accent. So to do that, I'm just going to take channel 14 out of my Metron and I'm going to run that into the accent input. This is just so we can see both gates at the same time. So now I'm going to add some accents. So you can hear that when these gates are being hit, we've got a little bit more of a climb on the carbon. And that when we have consecutive accents in a row, we're actually getting a sort of ramp up. You can see the accent level with this LED here. We can control the amount that the accent can get to by holding the level button. So now we're on the max accent. And we'll go back to, this is the lowest accent level. So just nice and breathing. You can kind of hear it just get a little bit higher on these sets of accents here. Now we'll go to the medium accent level. We'll go to the top one. So this is a super expressive and just kind of emotional way of creating um, envelopes. It just gives it a really nice character and just takes that staticness of just envelopes and just makes it sound a little bit more alive. So just a really cool dynamic way of making things happen here. If you want to change to just a static accent level, you can hold mode and hit the level button. And now accents will always be the same amount. So depending on where your accent level is set, you're just going to have a, set, a, a static accent point. But if we hold mode and press level again, we're going to get that dynamic accent. All right, so one more thing on accent, what's really cool about it is it's actually a CV input. So it doesn't just take gates, it does take CV. So I'm gonna show you that by plugging into 410 here. And I'm just gonna use this fader and we can watch the accent level LED here. So that's on that dynamic level or dynamic ac dynamic accent level. We'll hold mode, hit this envelope or hit the level again. And now it's just on that static. So now we can control this. So we could use Volterra to sequence this and we can use accent as basically the level of our envelope um, and sequence that if that's something we wanted to do. And that's that, so very cool, very cool feature on there. So next thing we can, we can do is CV over attack or release. So I'm just gonna do a Volterra channel and I'm gonna run this into the release input. And now I'm just gonna record some CV. All right, I like that. All right, so I do have a Volterra channel running into Volt Proactive on the PDO as well as the Volt Proactive input on the carbon. So now I'm just going to record some CV for that. I like that. Let's bring a kick drum in here. All 
Alright, so those accents, I need to, in order for those to work, I need to plug those back into the Neutron here. Oh. I'm going to turn the wave folder on on Carbon here. So yeah, with that short range, we can have super snappy envelopes. I'm going to take off that wave folder. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is go into the reset input with another gate output for Metro. So I'm going to go out of number 15 here, and I'm going to run this right into the reset input. Now you can hear that this kind of chokes that... Uh, um, it actually chokes the envelope sound, just shorting it. So if you just need an instant off, but you want to use long releases, you have that reset input. And then like I mentioned earlier, it does have an independent VCA input. So if I plug into that, we're not going to get any sound because we are running our sound through it. And you could hear some stuff because I was touching this cable. Adding just a tiny bit of voltage from my skin. But we're going to use the 410 now and we will show off uh, that VCA, right? So if you have an envelope that you really like to use with the VCA, then you can do that as well. So I'm going to take that out. So we did take a lot of time to tune these ranges, so that way they worked really well with each other and, um, and designed them in order to be played. So we really wanted them to be able to be used in a live performance. So you're just playing a little bit, add a little bit of level. Add a little bit more level. Now bring it back down. Maybe add a little bit of range here. Something I mentioned in the carbon video that I love to do is to switch to high pass and do a long release range when I take out the kick drum. So something like this. Maybe I'll take out these chokes here. And then I'll just switch back to low pass and go back to low range at the same time here. So another thing is this mode switch. When the mode LED is off, this means it's in gate mode, which means that the gate has to be high for it to reach all stages. So if you hold this, if I hold the gate high here, you can hear, I can get all the way to the sustain stage with my nice slow attack here. And then if I let go, we're in the release. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump it up and make it a lot longer here. Right? So we went all the way through those because I was holding that gate. If I let go, in the middle of the attack, we're just going to jump to the release stage. But if I go to the trigger mode and I just tap this trigger, we're going to go all the way through the attack and the decay stage before we get to the release stage. We also have looping which loops the entire, all stages of the envelope. As I mentioned earlier, we have a very long range on the longest range setting here. But if we wanted to go even longer, all we have to do is throw some voltage into the attack. CV. So now we can get an absurdly long envelope. Barely even climbing. 
bring it down quite a bit here. So not just for dance music, if you're making ambient drone kind of things like that, and you need very long envelopes, Javelin can do the job, no problem. All right, so that is it. Javelin will be available very soon. As you can tell, it's an awesome companion for our brand new carbon module as well. So please check those out at wmdevices.com. And um, like always, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Peace.